I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is July 5th, 2020. And in this video, I'll be installing a water line off my sprinkler line and connecting a hose bib to it. We're doing some landscaping in our backyard this summer. And as part of that, we're putting a new sprinkler system in the backyard. Now we're connecting into our existing sprinkler system, which does the front yard. And we're running around our backyard to the other side to put a second sprinkler controller box on the other side of our yard for the backyard. Now, as part of this, we decided to put in a hose bib midway in our backyard just to use for some different purposes, but it's off the sprinkler line. So in this video, we're going to be connecting into our existing line and right up just beyond where we're going to put the hose bib in the backyard. I'm not going to do all the rest just in this video. This is just focused on connecting in and getting to the hose bib. Um, now, I'm new to PVC gluing. So yesterday, or the day before actually, I made a test run, which I did a video on. And here's a video. I'll put a link in the show notes to it where I figured out, I mean, just like you, I've watched some videos, seen some PVC gluing, but I wanted to do a test run to make sure I was confident what I was doing, that it actually sealed well and did well. And also I made a test bed where I could test some of my sprinklers later on. So if you want to go check out that video. Um, now, before I go into putting this all together, I wanted to go real quickly over what I purchased for this particular run to get up to the hose bib and install the hose bib. So I'm gonna go through every single little piece I bought here real quickly, just so you can see that information. So going through this, number one, I bought this tool for cutting the pipe and it works really good at ratchets. I love it a lot. Um, also, I bought, I went to Home Depot and pretty much all the rest of the links are Home Depot. And I bought this jumbo valve box because I'll be putting some valves in there and some, sorry, some ball valves in here. And I want to make sure it all fits within this box. So you'll see it as I go on and show how I did this. So I bought one of those. Um, of course, I got the primer and the cement. Uh, you need some thread seal tape because I do have some threads that I need to connect in. I want to make sure they're, or people call it plumber's tape. Uh, I did buy 10 uh, one inch, uh, there's these 10 foot pipes, one inch. I did buy 10 to get this run to where I'm going and also for the pieces I cut. Also at one part, I am, the hose bib itself, itself is on three quarter inch pipes. So I had to buy a conversion a little bit just there and you'll see that. And I have one 10 foot piece of three quarter inch pipe. Uh, let's see. I got 10 of these because I have a bunch of uh, valves. I have five valves that I'm using for different things for different reasons. And I'll show you so I can blow out lines much easier come winter time. I got a box of tees. These are kind of nice. I got one box of tees. Let's see how many of these do I get. Oh, this is a three quarter inch cap. I think I just got one of those. Let's see. I got a cap to put on the top of that. I got a lot of couplings. Twenty. I got a box. A, a, my box here, 25 pack. I got a, a thing of elbows, need 90 degree elbows. This is a reducer so I can have the three quarter inch. A plug for the end. A th three fourths inch, uh, 45 degree elbow. And here's my galvanized steel pipe that I'm actually using for my hose bib. The actual hose, you know, connection there, the, the valve. And then finally a cap for the very end. So that's what I bought to get this, to put this all together. Mm -hmm. And in total, it cost me $352. I'm kind of adding tax and running up a little bit. So roughly $350, $352 to get it all done to uh, the hose bib. Yes. Um, and so yeah, a little bit of money, but it's going to be, a, it's, I'm overdoing a lot because I want to be able to control it come winter time and be able to blow out the lines really easily. So with that, let's go over my construction. Okay, I'm going to go over my setup here real quick and some of the reasons I'm doing this. Now... One of the main things I like to do is get, I got this jumbo box because what I'm doing is I'm putting a lot of, you can see in here, I'll explain in a second, all these um, ball valves with these levers, but I want to make sure I can actually get to them in one thing. So I got this so I could size it up. Otherwise, my first initial setup with this, I actually had all the pipes too far out and it was not going to fit underneath one of these, even these jumbo ones. So probably a good idea to get, <clears throat> I have a small one, that, a regular size one that I have with my house. But I bought this knowing this is probably as big as I can get. Otherwise, I got to divvy it up and like do multiple ones and spread them out further. So it's a good idea to have something like this to size things up to do what you want. So what I've got going on here is I'm going to, I have a pipe going into my house. And that's going to hook into here where I have this valve. And so even though I have a shutoff valve in my house, I have this shutoff valve so I can open or close it. And of course, I need to make sure I have clearance here. Um... And then what I have is I have this guy, this T going up here. And what I did is I put this connection on here, which this is three quarters inch. And I did this so 
I put this creation together last year to blow out my lines. So come winter, I can blow out my lines. And so what I can do, I can shut this off so it's not going to go back. And so when I blow my lines, that's going to go forward. But then I have my current system. So I have this T. So my system from my front yard is going to T off to here. And so what I can do is I can close this off. And now, if I blow things out, it's not going to go back. It's not going to go down here. It'll go over here, and it will blow out. I can blow out my uh, front yard sprinklers. And then what I can do is I can close this, open this out, and this line is going to go down. And I've got a little pit. Go down and go over. And then that's going to go all the way down my side of my yard. And eventually, it's going to go wrap all the way around to my other side where my other sprinklers are going to be set up. But I just need to get, this is my water line to get over to my other sprinklers. But at the point when I make the corner on my yard, so I'm going straight, I make a corner, I have another valve. And I have another valve here. Because what I'm going to do is I will cut that off and I will blow this line out and I have a little plug here. So this will just be water going all the way down here. It's just part of the line to blow everything out from here. And then what I can do is I can close this off, uh, open this up when I want to winterize it, and then I can come to the other side where my sprinkler is going to be at some point and blow it out this way and blow all that out. So this is going to be my, that's my plan. And then coming up here, what I'll be doing today is I'll come a little further, and I'm not going to go all the way to my other sprinkler yet today. I'm going to go a little further than what I intend to put my, my uh, hose bib on. So I have this T coming off, and this T is going to a three-quarter inch pipe, and this is three-quarter inch, but all, everything else is one inch. And then I put this in here, and I may have to cut this, but then here is my hose bib. And these are all just threaded. They're not going to be glued, and I have my um, plumber's tape. So that is my rough plan, and also in between here, I've already laid things out, so I have, I think, seven or eight, ten, I think seven foot, eh, six or seven ten-foot pipes to go from here to my backyard. So that is it. Minus, you know, 50 feet of pipe that's going to go in between here and there. So now I'm going to go turn off my water, blow, you know, let the water get out of my pipes as is right now, and then start gluing this together. Okay, so I need to get this all constructed up. Now I've uh, turned off the water to my sprinklers in the house. That's shut down. But also, I came up over here, and I've shut these off. And if you don't know, whenever you have a valve, if you cross it based where the pipe is, that's shut off. So I shut that off, shut that off. And then I, uh, these, even though they're electronically controlled, you can, in this case, open them up like this. So I open it up to let the pressure out. And then lastly, we've got this little valve here. So I'm going to open this up and let the last of the water out, which there should be just a little bit to trickle out. Yeah, there's a little bit coming out. Now, if it was coming out in streams, that would tell me my water pressure is still on. But see, every, all that water that's all in there is bubbling out. I just want to get that out before I cut it, or at least most of it out. I've got the cover pipe connected to my PVC pipe, and that's going over here to my front sprinklers. And I want to keep that, but I also want another line going to my backyard. So this is what I've, I, I took my mock up and I glued it all. So this is all prepped and ready to go. So I need to cut this. So what I'm going to do, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I, if I do screw up, I can't extend these things, you know. So there are ways to repair it after the fact. But I want to cut this here and I'll cut it just a slight bit long because this, it does have to go in there. Oh, well, I guess I don't need my gloves quite yet because I am not gluing yet. Okay, so I will come underneath here, get this back again and see I need to... I do have wiggle room because you can see I can wiggle this whole thing. So I can, I can adjust a bit, but I do want to get kind of close to where I think it'll be good. Right there, and now when I cut this, I bet you'll have a little bit of water come out, but not streams. Yeah, make sure your water. Mm. 
Boom. Oh, hey, no water. I guess I got enough of it out. Okay, so then, come over here. Cut this guy off, same thing. Cut off. Okay, there we go. Gone. So now, just to make myself feel good, I can just put this in here with no glue. Just kind of press it and press it. Hey, I think we're good. Do a little bit of a fiddling there. I think that is going to work. So now, next up, I just need to glue it together. Okay, so now I got my glue out, so I'm gonna take these guys off. I got a little cloth here, so I'm gonna try to clean it up as best I can. On there, on there, and then let's cement this one. Now for my cement. Okay, and then we gotta put this on, apply, we gotta put it on, apply pressure, quarter turn, in this case I need to turn it, I'm gonna hook this in, even though I'm not cement it yet, just so I have it where it should be, and I need to apply pressure for about 30 seconds to make sure it doesn't pop out. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for this guy. The idea of putting that just back in the dirt, so I'm going to prop that up with that. Now, turning a quarter turn on this is probably going to be a little bit of a difficult thing to do, right? Since I have all these attached, we'll make the best of it. Okay. But I can probably turn a little bit. Oh, there you go. Turn, turn. Put my pressure on. Lay it flat like I'm going to want it. And hold. So, we should be good. Now it's going to take two hours, ideally, to cure. It can cure like in 15 minutes, but they say two hours before you put pressure on it. So, I think we're good for this because I can lock these out. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to run the pipe all the way down to the end 
and then start to make that corner where I'm going to put the bib at the end. So I'll get to work on that. Okay, so now I got all this routed down here, and now I need to tie this guy in. So I got this. I just need to glue this guy up. And then make sure I'm thinking this is the right way. Yeah, there we go. And then my little tool has broken off. So I gotta do it like this. But it still works. Applicator. Okay. And then push it on, give it a turn. And I'm going to hook it into here just so I can kind of see where I should be. And now I got to hold it for 30 seconds. Okay, the last little bit for this particular run. Oh. Uh, need to clean this dirt off for sure. And then any dirt in here. And stick that on, give it a quarter turn, and hold for 30 seconds. Okay, there we go. So I have this down here, so when this is fully done, I can open this up and drain everything out this drain, and same thing the other way. I can close this off and drain it this way. So that part's done. Now I need to go do the bib. Okay. So what I've done is I got the pipe going here. I got a coupling right there. Then I got a T joint here going off to a three-fourths inch up there, elbow. Then I got this, and I got this threaded in, and then I got my faucet here, which I'm closing for now because I want to turn everything on. I want everything to be closed. And then temporarily, I took a two by four. You know, cut a spike on the end and pound it into the ground here, just temporarily, because I haven't treated it or anything. So this will rot rather quickly. So I'm going to figure out what to replace this with, maybe something bigger, thicker, and how to treat it with pitch or whatever. I'm not sure yet. But I got my brackets on, and this will be good for now. And this is what I'm going to use. The only thing I'll do is I'll replace this with something better suited to be in the ground. And then the last thing I got to do. I gotta put my end cap on for now because I am gonna route this water all the way around to the other side of my yard, but for now, I'm ending here. So, I've already got this all cleaned up right now, so I'm just gonna put an end cap on here.
This is just a plain old end cap. Nothing special to it. Get some little bit of glue on here. Press that on, turn it quarter turn, hold it for 20 30 seconds. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to leave everything to cure for two hours and I'll come back and test it all. Okay, it's been two hours, everything's hooked up, so I need to put my plug in here so that we're not going to leak water out of that and we all get connected up. Uh, come on, get on. Okay, now I've turned the water on in the house. And so far, so good. <laughs> Nothing's moving or leaking. Which it shouldn't because I haven't... These, this is closed. So, we'll turn that one on. Okay, good. Then we'll turn this one on. Okay, good so far. Don't see any leakage. And then if I flip this guy, everything, every one of these is locked, so I'll flip this guy. I hear the water moving. And then I will flip on my old sprinklers. I trip. Okay, and then let me turn on. I can manually. Yeah, sprinklers are coming on, right? All right. So far, so good. And I'll close that back. I don't see any leakage. Of course, I'm going to check this out in the next couple days, you know, make sure. Especially in the next couple hours. Now, the fun part. Turn that one on. Oh. <laughs> I wonder why I didn't like that. Maybe I have to build up some back pressure for that. Okay, I just turned it on slightly. That I don't know. Maybe it just needed some back pressure to it. It's got to fill up a lot. happy now or else I'll learn something new and make some more videos <laughs> as we fill all that up down there but then I do have right at where it tees off there I do have it locked off too mm -hmm. okay I guess you didn't like the idea there was no pressure against it so hopefully good okay so now let's go down Okay, now I'll probably come down here later because I did, I think there might be some dirt inside of here. So I think later I will come down here and take this plug off and open this up and just let some water run through. But for right now, let's just test it. So now if I open this up, not much is going to go. Sh should... Huh? Oh, we're good. Okay, then the last, so we're good to hear, no leakage. Now, last little bit. I'll just go. Slowly, let that all fill up. Okay, full open. I guess the key is to go in slow, right? And now, don't see anything coming off the end. <laughs> well, I don't want to. 
I'm not going to open this too much because I'll make a mess here, but I'll just confirm that we actually are going to get, get a lot of air because it's pushing all the air out. Okay. Right. We got it. So I'm going to attach a hose to this and let it shoot up. I don't want to mess up my land here right now, but hey, we got it. Hooray. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.